Hi guys, Mr. Yeager here, and welcome to another channel update. Huzzay! And welcome to the 2021 December Christmas break update. Yes, that's right, I'm going to be going on a Christmas break because I'll be going on holiday for a time, and uh, by the time I come back, it will be kind of... Yeah, it'll be... I'll end up basically coming back and then straight into work. So do rather than... Um, Rather than to worry about, like, trying to upload in the middle of all that, I kind of figured this would be a good opportunity to take a break and kind of just chill. Uh, you know, just chill, get my head sorted, try and get through stuff, and then move on into the next bit of... Uh, move on into 2022 with a more clearer head. So, uh, yeah, fun times with that. So, what exactly... Um, so, basically, what's going, going on? You know, what's the report going into 2022? Well, basically, the reason why things have been kind of gnarling up a bit is a uh, mixture between uh, me getting a bit homesick, not seeing, having not seen family in a long time, thank you, COVID, um, and also situation regarding work. Work's been getting fairly stressful, so because of that, it's been kind of difficult to sort of de-stressify. Um, and as such, uh, the live streaming kind of went to pot because at the time of the live, the last live streaming episode, work was beginning to get pretty shitty. And basically, I couldn't really be bothered. There was just a point where I was waking up, going to work, having a shit day, coming back, not really feeling up to doing much, and then just going to bed. And it was kind of this cycle that had been going for a long time. So as such, when it came to doing live streams, I didn't really want to do anything because my brain just literally wanted to switch off, um, which is not good. Bad Jaeger, because um, I should have said something. I should have made an announcement. I should have said, look, things aren't doing so great, so we're going to have to put things on hold for a while, rather than just not do it and leave people hanging. So that is my bad. Um, I will not lie, that is my bad. Um, but going forward into 2022, Positive Energy Web, um, we are going to continue elements of the live stream system. I'm going to start slow. Uh, we're not going to go too hectic into it. Um, and I'm going to try and balance things out a bit with a mixture of live Let's Plays with the multiplayer and games I'm enjoying to play. Because obviously, the multi you know, live Let's Plays uh, you know, are fun, but depending on the game I'm playing, and for example, in this, partic in this particular case, we'll say Remnant, um, those games are one of those things that really takes a long time to get through and are extremely frustrating depending on the gameplay mechanics or my particular level at that moment in time. So rather than um, fuck up and do some, um, oh nice, uh, having some, rather than having some other sort of things, it's going to be a case of um, we'll, we'll stay, we'll, we'll stick slow. We'll play games that I'm enjoying at the moment. Um, one of which we'll have a sort of a nice segue into is Icarus. So if you have not heard of this game, I've attempted to make some content around it, or at least like some sort of hey, I'm playing this and. It, didn't quite come out as much as I didn't quite like the video content or I didn't quite like the audio. It just didn't. It didn't come out in time before before like the IAE took over. So obviously I I sidelined that and focused on the IAE. Um, but basically, just briefly summarize it. Icarus is a first person survival game set on a planet that has been a te badly terraformed by humans. Uh, humans fucked up. The planet is uh, now laced with poisonous, uh, uh, a poisonous atmosphere and a variety of mutated animals. And you are a prospector sent down to complete various tasks, ranging from simple reconnaissance to elimination of certain beasties to recovery of items left by the bad corporations. Um, and obviously, the main strength of the strength of this game is that it is a survival game. You are, you know, you build your cabins, you do your thing. It, it, it's fun, and I very much enjoy it. Um, and it's been, and for the last few weekends, like the last number of weekends, they've been doing these beta weekends where you can try the game out. And every weekend so far has been really fun. Um, it's got its flaws. I won't say it's a perfect game. There are some definite downsides, but it's it's a fairly solid experience. And you know, going into 2022, we may f I might I might do like a normal recorded series. Which, to be honest with you, the more I think about it, the more that makes sense. Rather than doing a live stream series. Um, but at the same time, I may still do certain things like live streaming it just to showcase, hey, this game is fun and, you know, more more important stuff along those lines. Um, but yeah, so they may. So I'll probably focus a bit more on making live stream content uh, in the form of maybe some multiplayer games I'm playing. Obviously, Final Fantasy is a bit of a big one. Uh, it's a game that I'm 
enjoy, I'm gonna, I take it, I'm, at the moment, I'm not playing too much of, because, uh, Endwalker, when they, up, when the Endwalker comes out, a lot of classes, that, or uh, there's this sort of mid-level reset thing, where if you're leveling a character, and you're, uh, and you're, um, not to any, but if you're leveling any character and it's not quite 100%, all of that experience gets reset back to zero. Which, depending on what level of character you're playing, is going to be pretty fucking bad if you're trying to level your character. And he's on like 79 and you're like 10% away, but the game drops. You know, that's the kind of shit you don't want. So, um, I'm kind of whole, I'm avoiding you that. I'm trying to save all of my love and excitement for that game until that shit comes out. So, therein is the thing for that. Uh, but as I said, there's going to be loads of games I'm going to be hoping, well, there's going to be some games I'm going to try and get into, and I'm going to tactfully select the next game. I might not jump back into Remnant uh, for a bit. Uh, I might focus on another game that I've, you know, recently gotten, or a single-player experience game, or a multiplayer experience game that I can at least enjoy and uh, do some other stuff with. So, um, yes, we shall, we shall see. Um, hopefully things will work out in that regard. Anyway, so, going further forward into other bits of news, Shogun 2. So Shogun 2 has been finished, recorded for a while now. I have uploaded a number of episodes, and I think I'm close to uploading the... I think I'm either, I've either uploaded the second before last, or I'm getting close to the second before last. And when I get into... When, yeah, so hopefully once I've finished uploading all of the episodes prior to the final, I want to spend some time making the final episode the the one to send off for that playthrough. You know, I've had a... That, that playthrough was quite a big playthrough for me, and I'm wanting... I don't want to just sort of go, bye, and then it'd be gone. So I'm hoping to try and do something with it um, to try and sort of give it a decent send-off and also, uh, also a minor send-off for the Total War game series because, well, at the moment they're not exactly doing so well, are are they you know they, their quality is not exactly high unless of course you can count the but the scraps that we're getting for uh, total war warhammer 3 are considered to be a full game to be annoying the only thing i will say that's irritating of course is that that game which i previously had hoped would have ogres as a faction they do and i'm like but the game still looks like shit <sighs> anyway so yes um that is the plan for the shogun 2 series so, what other things am I planning? Well, next year I'm planning on, and I'm really being serious about this, doing something with Star Citizen. I have, it's been my bane for fucking years. I don't know why it's been so long that I can, can't seem to find any ideas. But whenever I think about something, I think, oh yeah, but someone else has done this thousands of times. And for some reason that just does that. It really hampers my ability to think creative, creatively in that regard. And the only th consistent thing I've been able to film is the events whenever they occur. So what I'm going to try and do, however, is I'm going to try and commit to a particular thing, which is I'm going to try and earn enough in-game cash to buy a ship. These tend to be a long-term goal thing, and it might be enough for a series to be able to talk about, like, my experiences getting up into that line. And it also kind of helps because I think now, more than ever, we're starting to see the real gameplay loop starting to come through. Now, obviously, it's not perfect. This is still an alpha, and, you know, so, and every time one of us says, oh, this is when it really gets good, something else comes along, and then everyone's like, oh, no, no, this is when it really gets good. So it's one of those games experiences which is like well at least we can say at this point we all thought it was getting good and then it turned out it got better so yes big event is hopefully going to big stuff is coming into it obviously also i'm doing shit with bsi so um hopefully we'll be able to get some footage from that and yeah i'm very much looking forward to um experiencing and you know enjoying more of star citizen i want to try and make something of that game because it is a very fun game i ha i do love the game i've been watching a few of my old videos where i talked about how i'm listening to my old, old my oldest younger self gushing over the this seemingly myth magical game and i'm just like jesus christ i really did get into this and yeah it kind of reminded me of why this game was so uh, incredible to me at the time because my god if i if my younger self could see what this game was now i think i would have died of an aneurysm um, anyway, so going into the last bit of the video, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone, and I mean every single person except the assholes, um, for commentating, for liking, for giving me constructive feed crit criticism and feedback. You know, the War on the Sea series has been a awesome success. I am loving that series so far. Um, and I'm glad you guys are also enjoying it too. I'm loving all of the feedback I'm getting. Like whenever I see a comment about, there's been a couple of comments which have just literally dumped a shitload of information onto me, and I'm fucking in love with that. Um, it's 
it is seriously so awesome to see the kind of uh, the amount of help that people are giving me is just incredible and i cannot lie it's really it's really humbling as well and there was one particular comment that really got to me was saying you know i've been you know I, there was one particular comment which i just i couldn't stop loving uh you know there's like one guy basically saying thank you for uploading these past few years you've helped me through smiles for some good and bad times to keep up the good work that shit is why i make this content that fucking comment right there is what helps me get through the day and what makes me go further and onwards so i want to take this opportunity to thank you from the bottom of my heart to say thank you for putting up with me throughout the good the shitty times that this year has thrown at us throughout the shitty times the last year has also thrown at us and all i can say is i hope that i can continue to make content that you guys find fun enjoyable and well i wouldn't exactly say good but you know <laughs> we'll we'll just say it, it it passes the bar um and yeah no seriously though thank you so very much and i hope that going into 2022 we can uh, prosper and get bigger and in really begin to enjoy the wonders of being you know a content creator in admittedly a shitty time period but hopefully one that we can still prosper out of so i will catch you in the next one guys this time sometime next year so i hope you all have the most wonderful of christmases enjoy your families enjoy all of the happiness when it comes to it i hope that you guys will be able to uh I hope you will I hope you all have a good one. I hope we can all get through to the next year with a bit bit of a bigger smile and hopefully next year we will be the we will be the stronger for it. So this is Mr. Yeager signing out for 2021. Have a good one guys. Merry Christmas and I hope to see you all on the happy side of the next year.